All right, folks, here we are for the last practice of some cursive capital letters. Uh, this episode is brought to you by Sam some Samsung washing machines. Samsung washing machines making loud noises in the background of your video since 1982. Sorry, just ignore that noise in the background. That's kind of loud right now. Um, today we are making capital B's and R. Oh, I'm sorry. We're making capital B's. P's and R's. I didn't see that P snuck in there. All right, here we go. These ones are um, pretty easy, especially compared to the last ones we did with those G's and S's. Capital B first is going to look very similar to a ca printed capital B with just one minor difference. Starting at the top. Bring our stem all the way down. I'm going to follow back up and make my B like I normally do. Here's where we're going to get to a little bit of difference. It's that little ducktail thing that we've been seeing on our um, G's, S's, F's, and T's. B going down. And up. And another B with our little hook guy. Uh, you'll notice that you can kind of see a little stem up at the top and bottom here of the B. Um, that's another look that the cursive capital B is going to have. All right, that's enough Bs. You can you can practice more if you need to. Today we're going to write. the um, word Bermuda. Bermuda. Bermuda is an island country. Um, probably would be a pretty nice vacation destination. Beaches and oceans and stuff, you know. Started with that capital B and the drowned out by the noise of the Samsung washing machine. With our hook, we uh, we're not going to connect. So over here, we're going to do our next letter: E, R. Not a big fan of that R I just made, but we'll keep moving on. M, U, D. Bermuda. Um, pause the video, rewind, whatever you need to. Keep practicing those B's because now we're going to try some P's. Okay, capital P. Um, pretty easy. Bring it down. Follow it back up. And around. Looks like capital P that you know how to make. Printed. I'm not even going to do a bunch of them. You can if you want. We know how to make capital P's. And for our word that has a capital P in it, we're actually going to do two words. We're going to do Papa John's. Who doesn't like Papa John's pizza? So, capital P. I'm not going to connect. I'm going to make my A over here. I don't like that. Let's try that again. P, A. P, A, Papa. My A and P are a little close, but that's okay. And uh, just for fun, let's do the other. Let's do the other part. John's, because I didn't get to practice these capital letters. J. 
this is good practice for me. J connects to the O, which connects to the H, to the N, and to the S. Papa John's. Bum, bum, bum. All right, Good. keep practicing, pausing, and rewinding. If you want to hear me talk again, rewind it. Well, you get to hear me talk again anyway, because now we're making our last capital letter, R. Following the same thing I've been saying about B's and P's today. R is pretty easy. Pretty much the same as a printed one. We're going to keep it all, keep our pen, our pencil down, all smooth. Bring it down, follow it back up, make it like the P, and then we'll bring our R. The only thing that's a little different is our R is going to have. Like most cursive things are little fancy fancy curves. I'm gonna fix this so that it comes all the way down. There we go. R. Shoot. There we go. One more. Coming at ya. R. Here we're gonna write the country, the large country, Russia, with our R. It's going to connect to the U, which connects to our S's, one, two S's, I, and A. Russia. All right. Um, do what you need to with your board. Practicing. And we'll go to our last page together. 26. Crack it out here. Trace your letters. Make some new B's. Something I'm noticing about the bees that I didn't really do um, was the middle part. Good thing I caught this. We're not going to bring it all the way over to that stem. We'll do it like this. That looks better. Let's try again. we have these videos to pause and rewind and practice and catch these mistakes. Write my Bermuda. Oh, that was supposed to go all the way in. You're taking your time. The one thing about cursive is you want to make sure you take your time and make it look pretty. P's, we'll go back and trace. I'll just make a couple of them over here. It's kind of the only other thing about it is it is you know it's got to be a fancy P, so it's you know a little bit slanted there maybe. Papa John's is just bonus on our board. It's not in our book. We don't have a P word here to write. So we'll do our R's. Again, just like the P's and the B's. They're a little slanted, maybe. 
this one we can bring it all the way in and give it that little hook at the end. Make sure you're filling your lines all the way across. Russia you might have space to write it two times. I'll do one of them here for you, right next to it. All right, and there you have it. All right, another Russia. Fill your lines, trace your, trace your letters. That's our last page together. Make sure you're turning it into the correct spots. And now you can start putting it all together um, and practicing your cursive writing. Now that we got them all. Alright. Um, thanks for playing. See you later.